DNA contains two strands of building blocks called nucleotides. Arranged like a spiral staircase, each nucleotide includes three parts, which are a phosphate group, sugar molecule, and four bases. Adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. The sugar phosphate bonds form the double backbone of the molecule, or otherwise known as the handrails of the staircase. We come to find out the genetic key of DNA lies within the steps of the stairway in the nitrogen containing bases. These are bases that link up using hydrogen bonds in a very specific way. For instance, adenine will only bind with thymine, cytosine will only bind with guanine. In this elegant design, we come to see how nature stores instructions to build all living things. Now, moving on to DNA replication. DNA strands are separated by an enzyme called helicase. Single-stranded DNA proteins bind to stabilize single-stranded DNA. One DNA strand encodes the leading strand, which forms from a 5' to 3' end, using DNA polymers. No problem here, but the lagging strand presents a problem. It forms from a 3' to 5' end, by in pieces called Ogisagi fragments. Therefore, the RNA premise lays down an RNA premiere. Then, DNA polymerase 3 lays down the new DNA. This process repeats itself again and again. DNA polymerase 1 replaces the RNA premiere with DNA. Finally, the DNA ligase links with the Okisaki fragments. In transcription, enzymes unzip the DNA molecule, just as they do in DNA replication. As the DNA molecule unzips, three RNA nucleotides pair with complementary DNA nucleotides on one of the DNA strands. Thus, if the sequence of the codon on the DNA strands were AGC, TAA, and CCG, the sequence of the codons on the RNA strand would be UCG, AUU, and GGC. When the process of the best pairing is completed, the mRNA molecule breaks away as the DNA strands rejoin. The mRNA leads the nucleus and enters the cytoplasm. In translation, the transfer RNA molecule only recognizes one amino acid, which bonds to the top of the molecule. At the bottom, there are three nitrogen bases called anticodons, which pair up with messenger RNA codon during translation. As translation begins, the first codon attached to a ribosome. The transfer RNA molecules carrying a specific amino acid approaches the ribosome. When the transfer RNA anticodon pairs with the messenger codon, the two molecules join. The first codon on the messenger RNA is AUG. AUG signals the start of protein synthesis. The messenger RNA slides around the ribosome to the next codon where the new transfer RNA molecule pairs with the amino acid codon. The two joining amino acids then become joined by a peptide bond, and the first transfer RNA molecule is released by mRNA. A chain of amino acid is formed until the ribosome reaches a stop codon on the mRNA strand.